Hello and welcome back to the channel and to another video where we're back in Blackpool to discover the rest of Coral Island. Yes, welcome back to the channel and to another video where we are in Blackpool to discover the rest of Coral Islands because we were here a few weeks ago when we did a arcade takeover where we did the ticket machines. Uh, we're not doing that today, we're going to discover the rest of what Coral Island has to offer. We did. The arcade or the entertainment complex as they like to call it is rather big and they do have a lot of things in there. Uh, they have three rides to choose from which we're going to show you them all. As he just said, we're going to play a game of bingo and they've also got a camel derby. There is a lot more to discover and we're going to show you all that today. Um, so, as you can hear, Theo is with us. Hello. And we've both had our hair cut, so we're nice and trim today. Anyway, um, we're going to get inside and we're going to show you. <laughs> you're showing everyone. We're going to get inside and we're going to show you. I hope you enjoy the vlog. Yes, it is that mark once again. It looks very familiar. Oh, look at this. So we're going to take you around Coral Island. Uh, like we said just before, um, we were here doing the arcade. And we even won some chocolate uh, on this machine, actually. <laughs> so this is Coral Island Blackpool. There's Camel Derby. Uh, we're going to show you around the arcade. Uh, as we go round, um, it is half past ten in the morning, so we took advantage of coming a bit earlier, so it's a bit quieter. This arcade does get very busy. Uh, but what we're going to do first, we're going to go on the pirate flyer, which is just here, and as we do that, we're going to take you around on the monorail type ride, which is this here, and show you uh, about um, oh, the arcade. Now, prices. Single rider is two pounds, but there's two of us, so it's going to cost us three pounds. Uh, so yeah, there we go. There's our tickets. Right, let's go through the entrance. We have our tickets. That means we can go. And you follow the pirate staircase. Nicely themed this. Uh, I'm going to talk, bring you a little bit of history of this shortly as well. Um, not right now. We're going to make our way to the ride. Ooh, some sweets if you want any. Pirate having a little nap there. So here we go. It's the pirate player ride. So we are now on that pirate flyer ride. So, as you can see, the are boats. Now a little bit of history, this, this ride has been here for as long as I can remember. However, a few years ago, it did change into this theme. Um, I'm talking to probably about nine, maybe 10 years ago, it changed this theme. It did used to be parrots, um, which is the theme of what Coral Island is. Now, as we go down around, I'm just gonna show you around what is up here. As you can see, this is where a lot of your pushes are. Uh, you can see a casino and a snap bar over there. There's also the entrance to the ghost train. Over there you can see you've got an 18 area, a few more slot machines, more pushes. And then the large area of the over 18 area. Behind the over 18 area you can see all the redemption part of the arcade. Also home of the uh, formula ride. 
and then Camel Derby over there and the Buccaneer bars there. So that's a small little tour uh, that you can see as you go round. Now you do go through this little dark tunnel. Now you can see these little things here. Uh, they did used to light up. Oh, you can see them there lighting up. Um, used to shoot them. as see was doing. Unfortunately, you don't do that anymore. So, like I said, you can see those little things there. You can see you get guns. Now, they are just theming. Originally, when they made this ride uh, how it is, he used to shoot the um, targets, and I think we used to get a score. These sort of rides are what Theo's favourites, and it's an absolute shame that they don't do this anymore. Um, you see quite a lot of targets around. But you do get a really good view up here of the arcade. Very good. Like I say, we did do this arcade few, about a week ago in our arcade takeover. Uh, if you do want to check that out, please do. Uh, it's in our channel. Or oh, all of our playlists, which is our arcade takeover playlist. You want to have a go again? <laughs> and that's this. Yeah, that was the pirate flyer. Pirate, I think I said that. You like that? Not as interactive as it used to be. Um, I really wish they'd bring back the guns. There's probably a good reason why they don't have it, but it was a really good interactive get uh, ride. Three pounds, not too bad. It's really good for kids, very kid friendly. You've still got the guns, yeah. But you really like that ride, don't you? It's your favourite ride in Coral Island. <laughs> Out of the three that they've got. Um, also, whenever he's in Blackpool, he loves coming here. Right, shall we go to the next ride? So, we'll uh, head over, over here. So, here is Formula Carts. Formula One, whatever you call it. This one's called Coral Island. <laughs> um, one pound on this. It's an absolute bargain. So, you just put the quid in there, you get a token. Um, and that's your height restriction. So you have to be under 1.2. So Theo is getting to the point where he's getting a bit too tall. So his days are numbered on this ride, unfortunately. But yeah, for a pound, this is a really good value. There we go, that is Formula One. I'm probably calling it the wrong name, I'm sorry if I am. <laughs> you go around four times. One pound, absolute value. And assistance from the staff, even better. Right, that's that. So yes, just as we're walking through, we are walking through their Redemption Arcade area. Now, there's quite a lot of redemption in here. I've just walked past this. 
Uh, really tempted to play it. Not bad jackpot either. We got monster jackpot on that last time. What's up? <laughs> we might pop back in a bit. Okay, so we're gonna head over to the other side of the arcade to the third ride that they have here, which is the ghost train. Now, they have, um, this ghost train's been here a while, it's been a while since I've been on this. So I'll be interested to see it. Which is here, so uh, we'll take you to the entrance of it. I think Theo just told me he's scared of it. We'll see. Here we go for the ghost train. This is two pounds per person. So this is costing us four pounds. It has absolutely amazing theming. Scary spider. Whoa. Whoa. No, you'll get hit if you fall. <laughs> yeah, that's the end now. We need to do anything. Yeah, a little bit scary, yeah. And that's the end of the ghost train, two minutes long. So that was the ghost train. Um, well, I don't know if you heard him round the ride, he said it was too scary, didn't you? Scariest ghost train you've been on? Was it scarier than the Pleasure Beach? I was too scared to be able to answer that question. There was a lot of jump scares in there. Uh, got bear in mind, Theo is four. Uh, so he did go round it, he was fine. Halfway through, he, he did get quite scared. So, parental discretion on that one. But, um, yeah, he's always wanted to go on. He's been on it. You've been on this before, though. He's intrigued. But, yeah. Um, not bad for four quid, uh, but obviously parents or discretion if you've got young kids. Right. So we'll just have a little sneak peek at the 18 area that they've got. Now if you're a gambling fan, uh, some of these machines may be up your street, I don't know. Uh, but they do have ranges from £25 jackpots up to 500 I even think they've got one that you can win like up to 4k on uh, at the bottom. They also do a lot of promos here and we're just going to show you this because this is something that um, you might want to be involved in. 320, you can win a mini. That's their summer promotion this year. All you got to do is supply your name and an email address, which is over here. 
Uh, so yeah, if you're in Blackpool, do get into here and get your name down because you can just win this mini right here. So this is their bingo. It's very um, tech, tech friendly. It's not an old classic one like they used to be. So it's all um, interactive. It's also a family prize bingo. So. Theo can go in here, which is what we're going to do. We're going to play the next game. Um, we're just going to watch this one. So this is what the bingo screen looks like. Now, this is 10p a card basically, and you select three at 30, which gives you these ones here. Um, and if you want the full lot, it's 60p a go, which gives you all these. Now. This bingo is really easy to play because you try and find the numbers and if you tap it, it will bring all the numbers right. up for you. Even if, even if you slow it points. and you miss a number, it will find the number for you and it will tell you what number you need and it will tell you how many you have to go. Your first number. So here we go, let's see if we can win. It's blue 33. White 47. So you can see. Yellow 21. Bringing four. the numbers up itself. Red 15. When you find the number. Green 61. In fact, if you just tap the screen, it Blue seems to work. Green 67. Blue 42. Two to Green go. 14. Blue 41. Green 64. Red 11. White 54. We need one more. Red 13, blue 39. Need 18. White 52, red 9, position 58. Oh dear, no we didn't win on that occasion. But this is really easy to do. And to be fair, kids can do this, that's probably why it's a family one. They do jackpot games, which is just the side of us here when they do jackpot games. That just say Saturday. Uh, but they uh, have all the jackpot games, which one uh, just happened before where you can win 500 points um, and you can exchange them in the gift shop which is just over here so yeah we'll have another go like I say another jackpot game will be at 11 o'clock so that was prize bingo uh, we didn't win anything <laughs> never mind but do you know what it's really really easy to play on um, so it is for any age, uh, for anyone. I mean, we're doing jackpot games every 15 minutes today, so you can actually win 5,000 points or 50 pound gift voucher. Uh, I said 500 points before, it's actually 5,000. Um, so yeah, that's really good. Um, on the one I showed you, the Saturday one, it's a guaranteed winner. So if you want to play it, go on a Saturday. You can potentially win 50 quid. Right, so, oh he's found it, we'll go this way. Another little game to play on is the Camel Derby. Which is this. Now, this is a pound a go. I assume these prizes are really decent, so. Hopefully we'll uh, get something. Theo's gonna play as well. You gonna win? <laughs> All right. So uh, this is a typical rolling style in the ball. So you go for the reds to move three positions. Um, so uh, yeah, which moves the camels across. Theme to the Coral Island. Here we go. Oh, Theo's not having a good start, that's for sure. You get three balls for this. We are nowhere near winning. Oh, I am number nine. We are second. I can't do this whilst doing holding a camera. However, we are catching up. Oh, I came second. Oh. We came second, Theo came... Hey, he came last. 
Right, we'll have another go. Oh, you were last, mate. You came last. No, you were nowhere near the finish line, mate. Right. It was close. Right, we'll play again. Right, here we go. Ah, we're doing terrible. Okay. Nine is now ahead. I've lost my jewel. I am not getting any balls in. We have got a three. I think we've just been beat. We've won. Hey, hey. Thank you. And we won a uh, voucher. Yeah, we won. Yeah, we won. Right. Look how close it was. By 17. That's how close it was. Yeah, I know. Right. Happy days. So, yes, we won a prize. You're going to show everybody prize. Look at that. How cool is that? So, we, we won a cactus. You want another go? Theo, you came last when you played, mate. Oh, it's so fun to play stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, one prize. Not bad, that, actually. So, you can have that, even though I won it. Right, so, we're going to um, mooch around the arcade. We are going to play a ticket machine, just to include it in here, just so it's part of the experience. Now, we're going to do what I spotted before and see if we can do it. It's now on 22 3 balls, so we're going to try and win it. Um, right, let's uh, play Monster Drop again. So, this is Monster Drop 23, sorry, 22 three balls if we can get it. 30p a go. I love skill based games. That was close straight away. Uh, we did play this last time and we got Monster Jackpot, uh, which was 500 tickets. Oh, it's close. It's very close, but it's passed. Okay, so I did just miss that. I wasn't recording it. <laughs> and we've hit the uh, 22 free balls. Oh, it's going to take a while though. There we go, finally at the top. Now, Jackpot must have been one since we came here. Because it was on 500, the Jackpot. This has cost us £2 as well. Uh, I think we got Monster Jackpot last time. Uh, we'll see. 16 balls to go.
there are mystery values. Yeah, no jackpots on that, unfortunately. So that was that game. We're only going to play the one. Uh, we've got all these tickets here, uh, which just cost us two pounds. Uh, it's a skill-based game, so uh, if you've uh, got some skill, you can win quite a lot of tickets. Well, as you can just see, we're just going around. Uh, you can just sort of see what um, ticket machines they've got. We're going to uh, see how many tickets we've just won at the ticket machine. So we just saw we've just won 283 tickets on £2. Uh, but we're going to save them. Uh, with the other ones that we won two weeks ago. Um, not put the total up too much. Uh, but yeah. Right, now it's time for something to eat and we're going to choose the snack bar which is just here. Uh, there is other places which I'll show you shortly but we're going to choose a snack bar. So this is what it consists of um, as we go along this bar here. move across. Which is all up there. So we are now in the snack bar. And this is what we got. So I got a cheeseburger with chips. Theo got a burger and chips, didn't you? And all this with the drinks included. The meals don't come with drinks, so you purchase them separately. Uh, it came to £8.79, which actually isn't really bad. Theo wants to show you his burger. He's happy with his burger. Um, but for £8.79, I'll just shut £9. It's probably about average that, because kids eat for free. Can't really complain, actually. I was actually, I was actually expecting it to be more. So, uh, we'll uh, have this now. So, down this end, where one of the exits are, Quite a few grabbers down here. It's also where the female toilets are, which are just to my right. The gents are on the other side of the ghost train. They so had this baby change room now. Uh, this is new for 2019. And it's already had good reviews. It's very good that they've made space for that. Uh, a lot of parents, especially with babies, will appreciate that, especially when the changing place was in the female toilets originally. So, uh, yeah, we're going to venture around. Oh, what? How did you just do that? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Look at the cheating. Keep cheating! Oh my god, he's gonna hit himself. Yeah, watch your hand. Whoa! And again. I think I won, Theo. Theo, I think I won. I won. So just before we do go, we're going to have a bit of fortune on the Saltar. Theo's going to do it, aren't you? There you go, mate. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Goes in there. There you go. There you go. An ancient proverb for you from the great Zoltar. Be happy while you're living, for you're a long time dead. Ah, uh, go ahead, my friend. Get yourself a little treat today. After all, you only live once, no? Give Zoltar more monies, and I will give you more wisdom for your journey. There we go. Let's see. 
I'm part of the great gypsy. It's here to give you ancient wisdom for your happiness. Pay attention now. Men of genius are admired. So that was Zoltar, and you get a little ticky with that. I'm just going to read out the first line to you now. It says, Know that it's time to start that new project you've been contemplating. Your deliberation will pay off in the long run because doubt is the father of invention and the key to knowledge. Uh, I won't read the rest because there's quite a lot to read. I wonder if that's anything to do with my recent vlogging that I've done. Because I've started doing it this year, uh, and it's, well, whether it pays off. Um, I just do it for fun at the minute. Theo absolutely enjoys uh, doing them with me as well as fun pairs as well. So he loves doing it. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it. But before we go, take a look at everything that we've been doing here as well as the other catering food outlets that we have here too. does come to the end of today's video here in Blackpool doing Coral Island which is a different video um, so about two hours in there which is quite good to be fair and we did win a couple of things what did you win yeah so we got a cactus show everyone your cactus <laughs> the sun's in his eye but give me the cactus so we did get this little cactus which I won on the Camel Derby and obviously Theo's got the Zoltar card as well which reads your fortune um, so yeah really good didn't spend a lot in there uh, lots to do uh, for everyone that wants to be there whether you want to be there to play the machines bingo or even just the rides or ticket machines there's lots to do for everyone now if you haven't already done so do subscribe to the channel as we do lots of different videos whether it's from fun fairs theme parks or traction base just like the one we just done um, as well um, give us a comment let us know what you thought of the vlog and also give us a like as well um, I'm glad the weather's turned out nice however it's not looking too great and this weekend's not looking too great either um, so yeah anyway from myself and Theo and Coral Island say goodbye we will both see you on the next video. See you later.